you can have the strongest team in the country hitched and ready to pull but unless your harness is as good as your horses you might as well sit down and be quiet it's just for the reason that howard harshberger is in business right here in lecompton kansas i've worked horses all my life and uh, i pulled horses for about 30 years in 1964 he made his first set of bridles and harness for his son's ponies after their first showing, word started to spread about his work. In over 15 years, he's never had to advertise. It would take two days to make a pair of them bridles. Are they like shoes? Do they come in sizes? Really not. When you make them for the big horses, they fit the big horses. But if you go to your little ponies, why, uh, you've got to make them fit the little ponies. He works in heavy leather, plain or spotted with shiny nickel studs. Most people leave the design up to him. That doesn't seem amazing until you note that cowhide was 89 cents a pound when he started. Now it's well over $3. $1,100 for a spotted harness is average. Horses take more than hay. Well, you know, it's got to where people's got more money anymore and they've got sense. <laughs> That's right. I never give over 100 and a quarter my life for a horse. They sold a horse up here to Waverly, Iowa, about three weeks ago for 27000 A finished set is rare. They don't sit around the shop long. Even if you don't understand what all the straps, clasp, and clips do, you can't appreciate the workmanship of a man who kept quiet and let the world pull a path to his door. Like a brand new shiny car. That's right. <laughs> Only you appreciate a car and the horses don't appreciate the harness. <laughs> In Lecompton, Kansas, this is Andy Johnston.